Hello and welcome. This time we're going to talk about computers. In this series of videos we're talking about computers. Yeah? And I have something for you. Very disturbing message. Yeah? What do you think are computers doing if you click something and then this little turning thing appears? Yeah? I think they are planning to take over the world and consider if they should start right now. Or not. Oh, lucky for us it did not happen. Huh? But to be prepared, to be prepared for this event, we have to understand how computers are working. <laughs> and this is what this video is about. We want to understand how computers are working. Yeah, the series, the series of video. Uh, and if we are really in danger of computers taking over the world, huh? we will see. We'll see. I'll let you. I'll let yourself decide. Huh? Computers. What are computers? Huh? Computers are things which can calculate. Huh? That's it. That's also the German. In German, we not only say computer. Sometimes we also say Rechner, huh? calculator. Huh? That's the base of computers. Huh? It calculated something. Uh, one of the uh, pre or, or of the early thinkers about computers was Charles Babbage, a British mathematician, a professor actually, who already thought about how automatically done calculations can be. How automatically calculate? How can it be done that calculations can be done automatically? Huh? Then the first tries, or the first successful tries of building a real computer, they were done by uh, Konrad Zuse in Germany, yeah, and also John Presper Eckert and John William Mochley in the US. Yeah. So these were the pioneers of those things. Yeah. Zuse said too was the first really working computer with relays and so on. Uh, computers. When currently, when we're talking about computers, we usually think about Digital computers, yeah. digital computers, digital computers are are things which can process binary data, yeah. discrete values, binary data, so numbers and so on. Uh, today we usually you usually use digital computers yeah. nowadays. This is why we put our focus on digital computers, yeah. but also to mention are analog computers, yeah. analog computers who are calculating with continuous values of currents or, or voltage levels, yeah. then it's not zero one, it can be anything in between. Yeah. Those things are usually built with operational amplifiers, there are also, there are also uh, subtractors, there are multiplicators, there are, you can calculate with these things, yeah. but in recent decades they lost their meaning uh, pretty much to digital computers. So we will focus on digital computer. What are digital computers? Uh, digital computers consist of two parts. Uh, this is one example. Uh, this is one example. It's a laptop. It's compared to the beginnings a pretty uh, advanced example compared to nowadays, it's already a little bit older. Huh? However, yeah, HP, mine, Heinz Petrashovsky. <laughs> What's this? Laptop. Uh, yeah. But this is called hardware. Uh, this is called hardware. The physical things I can touch yeah, is the so called hardware. Usually, a computer, this is much more than which is necessary for a computer because I have also peripherals in my casing built in. Yeah, there is a there's a keyboard, there's a touchpad, there's a display. Just for calculating something, I would not need this. This is just for operation. So these are called peripherals. The real computer is inside. Yeah? The real computer is inside. There is something inside, some arithmetic unit, yeah, which can do things. Yeah? Can calculate, add, subtract, multiplicate, 
to numbers. Yeah, it can compare to numbers if something is bigger, smaller, yeah? equal. It can jump to another position in a so-called program. Yeah? This program, yeah, some something has to tell this logic unit, this arithmetic and logic unit unit inside there what to do, yeah? and this is called the so-called software. Yeah? This software is located in a memory inside, yeah, and is telling the arithmetic logic unit unit what to do. Yeah, if it should add two numbers, if it should go to another position in the program, it should compare two numbers, and so on. And there are some base commands which are natively understood by this arithmetic logic unit. Yeah? There is base commands simply. Yeah? And with clever combinations of these base commands, I can do more complex things. Yeah? And these clever combinations since I can use every base command as often as I like, yeah? and this I can do really clever combinations of this uh, of these uh, base uh, commands, then this thing is then called a program, yeah? and this is doing something yeah? according to a plan, and will lead to a result. Yeah? This program stuff, which is not physically there, it's just some bits and bytes in a memory, yeah? you cannot touch it, this is called software. Yeah? And only the hardware and the software together are producing results. Okay? That's how digital computers are working, actually. Yeah? Uh, what is maybe worth to mention is that the that the uh, working principle of a modern computer does not differ too much from the beginnings. Yeah? However, there are significant improvements in all areas so that the modern computer is much more capable, much more powerful than they were in back in the days. But actually, they still work the same way, let's say. Yeah? And in the upcoming videos, we will discover two ways which how they might work huh? we will in the next video then discuss about the van neumann machine how this is working for this video for this introduction to computers i say thank you very much for listening yeah be aware of the digital takeover and goodbye